Rains across northeastern and central Pennsylvania are expected to continue again tomorrow. A flood watch is in effect, which is especially alarming for our area's many flood prone communities. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin visited two of them tonight in Schuylkill County. I can shut that off and then I'll hold, hold it in the tanks, switch it to my sump pump and then pump it out to Second Street. PVC and hoses crisscross the basement of Drasdis and Son at the corner of West Market Street and North Second Street in Pottsville. Joseph Drasdis made sure everything was ready to go before the rain began to fall. There's always a little bit of a panic there when I see that we're getting multiple days of heavy rain. Since opening his shop, Drazda says he is constantly going from tailoring suits to cleaning his basement due to the city's outdated stormwater system. Luckily, we, we don't get any in the store, but it's still a pain in my basement because I have to dry it out, have fans going, dehumidifiers, and uh, it's just a quality of life thing. Nearby in Port Carbon, days of rainfall have residents like George Reed, who live along Mill Creek, worried about the potential for flooding. I have dirt bikes. I don't want them to wash away in the flood or lose a bunch of stuff. So you get kind of anxious or nervous. Well, we know now that it's going to be raining over the next few days and heavy rain uh, in the periods of this, we always are cautious. Mayor Harold Herdon and Borough Council Member Jim McBreen say the rising water in Mill Creek is always something to keep an eye on. That way they can alert community members before the creek leaves its banks. Even if we know that it's not going to be a substantial amount, we are always watching it. Talking with the fire company, talking with the police, making sure everything is set, that in case this would happen, hopefully not, that we are prepared to help our citizens. Flooding is a constant threat here in the borough, and that's why recently council members have formed a watershed advisory committee to find future solutions that will hopefully keep the water in Mill Creek and out of people's homes. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.